Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Apa khabar semua sahabat, saudara-saudari? Ambon beribu-ribu ambon makan dan kakap ah. Alhamdulillah. Okey, saya Chef Amar bersama syarikat Abdul Ghaffar Saudagar Kurma Feel the Fresh. Today we are going to reveal a little bit about this kurma. Okey. Syarikat Abdul Ghaffar they will be importing or they are actually importing their own kurma they will be flying all the way to the middle east and they will be seeing and supervising all their crops okay for example we have ajwa which is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam favorite if you eat seven kurmas a day inshallah will be preventing you from sihr and from amal shaitan then we have majdul from palestine and we have uh, kurma mariami from Tunisia, which is very fruity, very tough, but very soft from inside, so it is very firm from outside. Lah. And we have Kurma Tankai, this one also from Tunisia, the best one, mashallah. Very uh, soft, moist, and a little bit of syrup lah, at the end here. So this means it is ripe, ready to eat. Okay, basically, Saudagar Kurma, Sharikat Abdul Ghaffar, they will be importing their product their crops from the middle east and this one it is specially packed for them of course with halal logo and with whiskey and with the iso qualification and iso sops lah okay so this is about five kilo kalau nak beli into ramadan kalau nak bagi into masjid kalau nak bagi into anak-anak yatim we will see what is we have inside here This is how it is looks like, backing with the plastic, kota, and of course, we have the best quality, okay? This one, you can go over there to Sharikat Abdul Ghaffar, to Saudagar Kurma, any outlet, and you can see more variety regarding Kurma, whereby Kurma, it is their main business, okay? So, after this, inshallah, we'll be going and do some cooking with some Mariani Kurma. Don't go anyway. Stay with me, Chef Ahmad and Saudagar Kurma. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh. Okay, sekarang kita nak buat yang dish pertama, kita nak masak nasi kurma, kita nak guna kurma Mariani because kurma Mariani, they are very strong in texture. So, dia tak hilang bila kita masak sama dia. Dia tak dilute. So, untuk nasi kurma Mariani, kita nak guna olive oil. Alright. Kita nak guna Chef Ammar vegetable ghee. Ini semua dua-dua produk kita boleh dapat di Saudagar Kurma. Feel the fresh. Dan kita nak guna chopped garlic. Ah, sekarang orang tanya, chopped garlic chef macam mana? Because kita nak guna kurma meriam. So, different concept, different style. Kita nak guna kurma meriam. Kita nak guna chop onion dalam satu nombor dan satu kilo beras yang sudah cuci dan sudah rendam dalam air dan for garnishing we are going to use fried almond. Insyaallah by the end of this episode we will be showing you how to peel the almond. Very important. Okay. So what will happen is now? Hmm. Okay. Now what will happen is? Switch on the oven. Then we take our brio. Taruh sini. Kalau ada air, please lap. We take the olive oil. 80 ml. We cover. We wait until the oil is hot. We take some kurma biryani. Cut it into half after we take the seed out. Around 10 or 12 numbers also will do for one kilo. It's just nice, not too sweet. MashaAllah. Okay, 10, 11, 12. So, Kurma Miriami, the lamb do a blast with it. Put it into half. Now, what we will do. Take the garlic. So 
stir the garlic about six numbers enough take the onion which is very small diced mashallah onion garlic always smell to me quite very strong in aromatic la Okay. To me some more. So sekarang what we will do? We'll take the korma miriami. I prefer to use this one because as I mentioned earlier, it is very strong in texture and the fruit is quite solid, you know. It's not very soft. It doesn't get mush later on, huh? So, dia tak jadi lempik lah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We put 1 kilo plus. Kalau kita mau guna 1 kilo, kita boleh guna setengah kilo. Kalau kita nak guna setengah kilo, kita guna air 675 ml sahaja. Dan instead of 2 tablespoon garam, kita guna 1 tablespoon lah. This is to my taste. Kalau you nak adjust, Suka suka hati lah kita masa dari hati masa udah iman kan? Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kita tome sikit saja. Ambil garam. Level spoon satu, level spoon dua. Jangan risau. Ini my taste. I'm going to eat later on. Kita taruh air. Taruh lagi sikit Okey Kita nak pastikan Another tip bersama saya Kita nak pastikan ini air cukup ke tak Kita kena Kacau Level up everything Air cukup ke tak To me I need to add a little bit more You see Bila kita masak nasi Kalau you taruh barang dalam Daging ke Sayur ke Whatsoever it is ke Satu setengah air mesti ada dalam. Jangan risau. Okey? Jangan tambah lebih. Jangan tambah lebih dan jangan taruh kurang. Exactly 1.5. We close it. We level it. Make sure that the fire is in the center so everything is cooked evenly. And insyaAllah we will be showing you the second recipe which is something really interesting. Narik dan senang nak buat di rumah. Stay tuned, don't go anyway. Okay, now for the second recipe, what we are going to do? We are going to do something simple, fantastic, delicious, nutritious, and memang memang laka 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 sedap. All right, so we have whole potatoes. We are having about six numbers. We have button mushroom. If you don't want to use button mushroom, you can use shiitake mushroom, no problem. Okay, we have garlic. About 16 number I'm going to use. We have carrot, which is have been peeled already. And we have whole and onion. Okay. So, kemudian, kita ambil potato. Taruh ni semua situ sini. InsyaAllah. Nasi kurma beriami sudah sedap. Bau sudah keluar. Okay, kita ambil ni. Dan kita cut into big dice ha? because lepas tu kita nak pick dalam oven don't do small dice nanti dia cepat-cepat masak dan ada barang yang masak ada barang tak masak lah we go all the way standard size ha, ni kita nak cakap berita pasal uh, baklava saya lah kalau orang nak beli Chef Amar baklava ada di Saudagar Kurma outlet all outlet in Malaysia so you don't have to Pay for postage charges, mahal ke, apa ke. So, boleh pergi sana dan boleh dapat barang kita lah, insya Rabbil Alamin. Okay. We take our potato. We bring a big ball. We throw everything inside. See how we work? Close by. So, we don't have to walk too much in the kitchen. If you have a kitchen like us lah, if you don't have, insya Allah, kita doakan. Itu Tuhan bagi you banyak rezeki dan boleh dapat kitchen macam kita punya lah. This one, 
carrot, we'll be cutting it into zigzag style. Okay. We have another two items lah. We have the onion and we have the mushroom. Kalau hitam atau ada mushroom, Chef Ahmad cakap apa? Suka-suka hati lah. Okay. Onion also, we cut into big dice. Because onion is very soft in texture, whereby it's actually complementing your food by giving enhancement. Adding more flavor. Susah kan ni? Barang-barang ni memang memang tak susah. Tak susah langsung ya. Okay. Kalau you nak cut the mushroom into four, go ahead. But I prefer to cut the mushroom into half because mushroom very soft in texture and it can shrink very fast. So orang tak boleh nampak lah. Kalau okay ini kita kita taruh all. Okay. Kalau you nak kopi with your hand, also can. Not an issue. Rustic style. Kalau nak guna bisau, also can. No problem at all. Okay. Ambil ni. Taruh sini. Kita ambil garlic dalam 16 biji. Okay. Kita ambil Chef Ammar minyak zaitun. Dan saya nak guna Kajun Spice Chef Ahmad pun ni Alright Saya tak taruh garam Because ini Kajun Spice sudah Season dah Okay Take my chin chin out See the technique Okay, this one here done right. Let's start off here. This all here done there. We wash our hand. Now we will be sharing with you how to cut your chicken into butterfly and how to make sure that you have a very big size chicken. Okay, the best chicken for this kind of dish is. 1.3, 1.4. Don't go more than that. Otherwise, the meat will be very, very tough. Chicken. Kita bagi sama dia mandi. Sekarang kita kering sama dia. Okay. Taruh sini semua. How's our nasi doing? Oh, Masya Allah. Si. Ayam tunggu saya. Nama rasa saya. Kita ambil ni. I want to show you. See what I talk about the Mariani just now? Masya Allah, very nice. Okay, now what I will do, I will reduce the api to the maximum, then I will close it, then I will make sure that it is 100% dry. Okay, now we come back to the chicken here. See what we have? We have the excess meat here, right? What we will do, we will trim it. Okay. We put here. Now I'll turn it. What I will do, please make sure that you take this part out. Huh? Okay. Now, we bring the chicken here with our knife. From the dada, huh? from the breast. Okay. We cut through the bone. Okay, this one we throw, we put here. Now what we do, we open the chest. 
We clean the organ if we have any organ here. Very nice. Okay. I will cut the lama at the breast side, the excess meat, because we have to eat healthy. Then, what we will do here? Ah, we give it massage, so we crack the back. Lah. Now, cameraman, I hope he can capture this one. Now you can see the khaki here, right? You have to join here, right? Betul tak? Boleh rasa insyaAllah bila you buat. So what we will do, we will just only loosen it up. Okay? So the joint already been loosened up, so there are no more joining the other side. So now being separated. Why? Because I want my chicken to be as big as possible. Okay? See? Bring the wing. We turn it. Mashallah today, banyak ilmu, banyak tips. Huh? We bring another wing here. Okay? So, what we will do? Take some olive oil. A little bit only, not so much. We take some Bismillah rahman rahman. Slippery hand. I need spice. We just put a little bit. Kachao. Okay, then we put some water. We put it to the side here. Okay, now bring our baking tray. Take all our sayo, taro di sini, flatten it up with the same bowl. About 500 ml water put inside. This one we'll put here. Okay. Just wrap everything. If you want to use makluba spice, also can. If you want to use kajun spice, also can. If you wanted to use uh, what they call it, uh, Bukhari spice, also can. Mendi spice, also can. All right. Now we put the face side up. Okay, the smoke flavor actually it is not only for mandi. We can use it for chicken. We can use it for fish. We can use it for meat, lamb chops, and long steak. So what we will do? We just only spray it. Okay. Take some salt. Little bit on the vegetable. This is what we call sadakala, huh? Turn it. What we do on the top, we do on the other side. Kalau kita nak makan kulwa macam ni, I'm very sure it's going to be a bit expensive for all of us. Insyaallah bersama saya Chef Amar masa dari hati masa untuk iman dan saudagar kurma feed the fresh will be showing you another recipe. Alright, sekarang insyaAllah kita nak masak uh, makanan ini selalu kita makan during Ramadan time lah. Nama dia khufash. 
Kofashmin dry fruits items. Okay, for us we are going to cut it into quarters and we are going to soak it for at least four hours to make sure that it is already been softened. Then after that we are going to enhance it with some syrup, lemon zest, we are going to use plusum water and uh, we are going to add some ice cream just to make it more refreshing for all of you. So now what we will do, we will sharpen the knife. Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. All this dry food we can find at uh, Saudagar Kurma outlet. We cut this one dry kiwi into four. Okay. While we are cutting, we will be doing the syrup. We have one cup of water. We have two cup of sugar. And we will be putting the lemon zest inside. Just to make sure that we are, what they call it? Just to make sure that we are uh, catching up with the time. Okay, we take the kurma, we cut it into three. Kalau you nak dua, boom, bullet, ada masalah. Like this also can. We take the dry apricot, we cut it into four. Kalau you nak dua, boom, bullet, ada masalah. Ini buah tin, kita tak bayar betul, kita biar dia macam ni. We have raspberries, dry, we have, we have the dry uh, kismis, raisin, okay. And we will be mixing everything in the bowl. With this one, about 100 gram, about 100 gram. This one goes again, 100 gram. Then we have to cut everything. We have the black angor. Mm. Okay, this one we need to cut it. In our country, the apricot is very stiff and very hard. But in Malaysia, the apricot arrive here is a bit soft because of the climate. Eh? We have to understand climate also play a very important role in our fruits. Okay, sekarang kita sudah buat sirap 500 gram kasa sugar, 250 gram uh, water, dan kita taro uh, lemon zest inside. Now what I will do, I will off it because ini sudah panas already, diluted. Kita taro rose water, blue zoom water a little bit. Kalas, habis kalas. Dan what we will make now? Stir it for a while. That's it. Jangan taro sini, situ. Tak, ni kita nak taro air dan kita nak rendam sama dia dalam empat jam. Okay, kita nak rendam. Kita bukan nak boil, kita bukan nak buat apa. Kita nak rendam because kita nak bagi ni semua buah-buah jadi lembut macam bibi saya. Okay, so what we have, we have one that's already ready been soaked. We are not going to wait for four hours. Okay, this is how it is looks like. You can see all the fruits is already very nice and already been softened. Nah? Macam bibi saya. Alright, macam mana kita nak buat sekarang ni? Okay, kita ambil ni. Dua. Kita tahu orang Malaysia tak suka banyak manis, right? So, kita nak ikut cara-cara Malaysia. Strain everything. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Kita ada ice cream, ha? Nanti sak. Nak tunjuk you macam mana. Okay. So, we have the ice cream and we have the syrup which have been cold already. This is our ice cream here and this is our... Uh, Dry fruits have been soaked for four hours. Huh? Okay, now what we are going to do, very easy. We taking, I'm not going, in our country, we put everything inside. But I'm not going to do it here for Malaysia. Okay, this is something new for Malaysia. What we will do, we'll take this one. 
put everything here. Mashallah. Ice cream, say Bunia. New technique. We roll it. We place it here. We take the syrup. Allah, jatuh sikit apa. Okay. Then we can serve it for all our clients lah. Or we can serve it for all our friends. Okay. Itu dia. Jangan pergi ke mana-mana bersama saya, Chef Ammar. InsyaAllah kita nak tunjuk you nasi yang kita masak bersama kurma meriami. Dan macam mana kita nak hidup dengan our chicken with fresh vegetables. Alhamdulillah hari ini kita sudah masak uh, tiga jenis kita sudah masak nasi nasi ini kita sudah masak basmati rice bersama meriami kurma dan kita taruh safron sedikit dan kita sudah masak uh, khushaf dari Middle East country dry fruits with ice cream and syrup homemade syrup which we saksikan just now and we already make for you a beautiful roast chicken with chef Ammar Hanif spices and the vegetable with kajun spice two in one jangan lupa saksikan kami insyaallah yang akan datang episod saya chef amar masa dari hati masa with iman bersama saudagar kurma feel the fresh semua ni fresh